Next on Comcast Newsmakers, while Washington's economy has improved, counties in our state still face fiscal challenges delivering services. We'll explain coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are in Tacoma, the beautiful Pantages Theater. And joining me right now is Eric Johnson. He is the Executive Director for the Washington Association of Counties. Thanks yes. so much, Eric. Always good great to see, to see you. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you and Comcast for allowing us to be here. You bet. Employment is uh, better. Unemployment, I should say, has uh, gone down. Mm -hmm. Economy is improving, but that doesn't necessarily translate to counties uh, having an increased revenue stream, yes? That's true, that's a, a, a very accurate statement. The county government, uh, the way we're financially structured is really based on property tax. About 60% of a county's revenue comes from property tax, which as you know, via Citizens Initiative, was actually capped at 1% uh, annual growth. So while other growths uh, in expenditures might be growing between three and 5%, our annual revenue was really only growing at one to three percent. So structurally, we're constantly having to erode at the base services that we're delivering. And so one of the things we're really talking about is how to align those cost drivers and expenditures with our revenue. And how do you do that? Well, that's a great question. We have really four pieces that we're really thinking about is, is how do we get flexibility in our existing revenue sources so that we can utilize them in the manner that is most needed at the at the, each community level. Every county is different. We go from Garfield County with 2,300 people to King County with almost 2 million people. So we have significant differences. So one size doesn't fit all. We need flexibility for each jurisdiction to be able to meet its needs. We need diversity of that revenue and we need elasticity. We need to be able to have a revenue revenue growth that can meet the, the cost drivers, the expenditures that are constantly going up and are oftentimes out of our con control. One of the ways also is making government more efficient. I, I believe that you've seen some changes there in the last several Absolutely. years. Absolutely. We have, um, we've had 11% fewer FTEs, fewer employees in the, in the county government family. We have about 28,000 county employees across the entire state of Washington, but that's 11% fewer employees than we had just five years ago. And so we've had to do a lot of things around efficiency, is how do we become a more efficient and effective government? The lean government uh, mode has been one of those continuous process improvement. We've got a number of national leaders, King County, for example, under Executive Constantine and, and Deputy County Executive Fred Jarrett, have really been taking the leadership role uh, on behalf of counties in this area about how do we employ lean government processes to make sure that we're doing uh, the, the most effective way to deliver that. One example in Kitsap County, for example, they've been able to uh, change the way they deliver uh, building permits from about a 28-day turnaround to as few as six days, just mm -hmm. by process improvement. Doing the same thing in Clark County, Island County's looking at shoreline management permits. So really deploying how we're doing business differently allows us to deliver equitable service, the same level of service, if not better service, with 11% fewer employees. And lastly, having a presence in Olympia? Having a presence in Olympia. Washington State, as many states are, the way the Constitution is formed, county government is, is really an agent for the state. And we can only do the things that the state tells us to do or wants us to do. So there's the shalls in the Constitution, the mays in the Constitution or the statutes. So we really have to be present in Olympia to help them understand the role the county does in behalf of the state of Washington. We collect, elect, we, we, we collect property tax and assess property tax on behalf of the state. We run elections on behalf of the state. The entire trial court system in Washington state is run on behalf of, by county government on behalf of the state. So we are intricately linked with the delivery of state services, just not those locally delivered by counties. Eric, we're almost out of time, but you all are getting together again uh, next month, I believe, in Vancouver. It's like your 100-plus meeting. 107th uh, annual meeting. We were formed as a nonprofit in 1906 as wow. the County Commissioners Association. We've grown since then, uh, to say the least. But yes, it'll be our 107th annual meeting. Fantastic. Eric Johnson, always Great. nice to talk Thank to you. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top and bottom of the hour.